let's take a closer look at the text inside this text box. Type, show hidden characters, nothing yet. At the bottom of the tools panel is the screen mode button. Clicking and holding, I'm going to change that from preview to normal. Okay, we can now see what's going on. These blue characters are our hidden characters. The double-headed blue arrow represents a tab. This Pilcro character, a paragraph. In other words, enter or return. I'm going to now double click to get the cursor inside the text box. We need to first select whatever text we want converted into a table. So we could, for example, just select these first three lines. But in this case, I want everything. So I'm just going to press Command or Control A. Up under the table menu, Convert text to table. Column separator. We've already seen that our data is separated by a tab character. So let's set that to tab. And the row separator. It's the paragraph marker just here. So choosing paragraph. Choosing OK. And there we go. There is our table. Now it's also extremely easy to reverse this process. I'm going to click to get my cursor inside the table. Table, convert table to text. What do we want our column separator to be? Let's actually change that to a comma. Row separator, keeping that as paragraph, choosing OK, and here's our text just here. Now it's identical to what we started with, except our tab characters have now been replaced with commas. Let's quickly run through this again. Command or Control A to select everything. Table, convert text to table. Column separator, we now have commas. Choosing OK. There's our table. Clicking inside the table. Table, convert table to text. Column separator, let's change this back to tab. Choosing OK. And we are now back where we started. I hope that helps. Catch you later.